Somebody's going to notice. It's not symmetrical. Beautiful. Yep. Stick out so you can be more room. Sorry. Thank you. Come on, there, everyone. Please. Welcome. Hi. Okay. Okay. You are all done up. There you go, babes. You look beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. So pretty, darling. You are so pretty. You can sit back now, darling. Beautiful girl. It's a transformation. But I think that that's the name. Just straighten This one. Where's Robin? Is Robin somewhere around? Look at this. Look at that, honey. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, those are the ones from oh, Morrissey. Oh, 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 those are the designer oh, flowers, darling. Oh, <laughs> you look so beautiful. Thank you. Someone get a quick photo of you. Close up, please, eh? Setting up lighting out. Well, if you wanted to be on your Sorry, the bow's dropping over here. It's not gone over the top. You look so beautiful. I'm going to take a picture of you. Your brows are beautiful. It's a little From the Netherlands, oh. Oh. we'd like to say something. Hello, Trina. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Tay Lee. Yeah, I'm a minister of the Uniting Church, and I'm a wedding celebrant today. Welcome, everyone, for this marriage, David Gregory and Trina Renzo. Trina and David today. It's my pleasure to welcome you here, and I hope you all enjoy their wedding and ceremony, wedding ceremony, and bless them in heart. Even if this ano is in a cozy uh, hospital room, and uh, is we know the old situation, but still we can celebrate their love in front of us and before God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let us pray. Gracious God, your generous love surrounds us, and everything we enjoy comes from you. In your great love, you have given us the gift of marriage. Bless David and Trina as they preach in their lives to each other, that their love may be the true reflection of your love for us all. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I quickly run and just read through the declaration of purpose of marriage. Marriage is a gift of God and a means of grace. In the lifelong union of marriage, we can know the joy of God in whose image we are made, male and female. Marriage is founded in God's loving nature and in the covenant of love made with us in Christ, husband and wife, wife and husband, in giving themselves to each other in love, reflect the love of Christ for his church. In Christian marriage, wife and husband are called to live together faithfully and to love each other with respect and tenderness and delight. The companionship and comfort of marriage enables the full expression of physical love between husband and wife. They share the life of a home and may be entrusted with the gift and care of children. They help to shape a society in which human dignity and happiness may flourish and abound. 
Marriage is a way of life that all people should honor. It's not to be entered into lightly or selfishly, but responsibly, responsibly and in the love of God. David and Trina are now to begin this way of life that God has created and Christ has blessed. Therefore, on, the, on this wedding day, we pray that they may fulfill God's purpose for the whole of their lives. So we have a Bible scripture and all what we believe. Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. If we know only in part, and, and we, prophes we prophesy only in part, but when complete comes, the, par the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part. Then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three. And the greatest of these is love. Thank you, Mom. Deb and Trina, this is your love. You have only one purpose for this event, to show and share the love. My prayer is that your decision for this marriage and confirming your loving relationship today impact others, other lives, and resonate among those who are looking for true love and life in God. Thank you. David, will you give yourself to Trina to be her husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Trina, will you give yourself to David to be his wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Thank you. I do. <laughs> Will you, the families and friends of David and Trina, who have come to share this wedding, wedding day, give them your blessing and support? Thank you. Let us pray. <laughs> Gracious God, you are always faithful in your love for us. Look mercifully upon David and Trina, who have come seeking your blessing. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon them, so that with the steadfast love they may honor the promises they make this day. Through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. I, Trina, in the presence of God, take you, David, to be my husband, to have and to, to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live, this is my solemn vow. Okay, okay. Yes. I, David, in the presence of God, take you, Trina, to be my wife, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow to you, my darling Trina. Thank you, David. David, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage and of the vows that we have made today. And we receive the ring. Can take off after this. <laughs> 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 Trina, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage and of the vows that we have made today. 
Katrina, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage and of the vows that we have made today to each other. Before God and in the presence of us all, David and Trina have made their solemn vows. They have comforted their marriage by the joining of hands and of their loving signs of heart, and by the giving and receiving of rings. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I therefore proclaim that they are now married. <laughs> now I take the, the great pleasure in presenting to you Mr. and Mrs. Bribery. <laughs> 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 Pretty obvious uh, for all of you the great love that I've got for Trina and uh, the love that she has for me and what that's brought forth in terms of Omar and I thank you all for being here for us now and into the future for whatever it holds for all of us together and in spirit. Thank you. Mm -hmm.